Hey, um, I was just traumatized for life. I have three things to say right now. Well, I'll tell you a brief summary of what's going to happen in this video. First, I'm going to talk about our new schedule and stuff and our new rules of which I am traumatized by. The second, I will be talking about some books that I like and some facts about the books I like. And then I will be doing some punishments because I was late. Which I already did in the last video, but then the video was too long. So I had done the punishments for nothing and now I hate my life. So, since the punishments have to be recorded, I will have to do them again and hate the world even more. So now that I'm a minute in, I will hurry up because the last video was 11 minutes long. First thing, we started this new schedule. I do Saturdays when she's at her, when Jenny's at her mom's, or Jenny, when you're at your mom's, you already know the schedule. And then when Jenny's at her dad's, she does hers, which is this weekend, which is today. She's going to be doing hers. I don't know if she already has, but I'm doing it now. Um, cause so we're sharing a day this week, but then next week I have to do one, and then the week after she does one, and it will go like that. And hopefully none, none of us is late, because then we have horrid punishments to do because one of our rules in our rule book that we made, because I made a rule book and then, you know, we talked about rules and one of them, which is one of the most major, is if the video is late or not up at all, there will be punishments for the person who was late. Or a punishment, a single punishment, but uh, unless the co-owner of the account is notified ahead of time, 24 hours at least, um, and there was a, and the partner decides if there's a valid reason, if the, the reason is valid and it's okay that they skip or upload late. But mine, I forgot three different times for one video. I forgot three times to make it. So now I'm making it now. And, um, I have syrup on my foot because of this. Which is not my punishment, but I did spill syrup on my foot. Okay, so second thing is I have Harry Potter books in a scattered pile kind of mixed in with Twilight a little bit and then I have Twilight books kind of mixed in with Harry Potter that are all scattered about because I made this is my third try making this okay so I did see I am pretty of what I'm pretty sure is a troll on Yahoo answers they said Sirius Black is a knockoff of Jacob and Stephanie Meyer should sue JK Rowling and the first thing I'm going to say is I love both these series. I love Harry Potter and I love Twilight. But there is a bit of a bias. I do like Harry Potter more. But I am sticking purely to facts right now because that's what I do. I mean, if Twilight had been first, I would do this for Twilight and I would say Twilight was first. But since Harry Potter is first, I will do this for Harry Potter. Harry Potter, the first one, was written in 1997. I don't have it right now because I lent it to a friend and I lost my other copy. Um, but, yeah. Where the heck is Twilight? Twilight was written in 2005. I've kind of memorized these dates, sorry. Um, the second Harry Potter was 1998. And the second, where the heck is it? Second... Moon, second Twilight book, was, I believe, 2006, which I'm correct, 2006. I'm only going to go up that far because I don't have a lot of time to make this video and I'm going to end up keeping talking and talking and talking and talking and it's going to be too long. So, um, I mean, the last Harry Potter was finished in 2007. I can show you that. This, this book, see it? This book was finished in 2007. This book was finished in 2008. Harry Potter. This book is older than this book. This set of books, set of books, is older than this set of books. So I'm really sorry for the people who are strictly Twilight fans and hate Harry Potter. I'm sorry to them that Harry Potter is older. I mean, I, I know a lot of them are smart and do know Harry Potter is older, but some of them are not and think Twilight is so much better than Harry Potter. Oh my god, Twilight. It's so much better. But in all reality, I, li I do like Harry Potter more. I like the books. I like the way they're written. I like the movies. I like the magic. I like the story. 
I, I like this. I don't like the writing. I like the story, and I will. I do read them because of that. I like the story. I like the drama. I like the romance. I I like it. I love this. I love this story, and I love this story. So um, there. I like them both, and I'm just sticking to my facts right now. Harry Potter was written before Twilight. And I love them both, and I'm not ashamed of it, and I don't see why they have to be compared all the time, because they're totally different. So for Harry Potter fans, there you go, there's the justification, is that a word? The I justified the whole thing, but um, there you go, there's what every Harry Potter fan deserves. This was first, and then for all the Twilight fans, that includes me, this also includes me. Um, I'm really sorry that Harry Potter was written first, but, um, books had to be written sometime. So, I like both, like I said, so I'm not trying to get into a war with either group of fans. I don't want the Twihards to yell at me, I don't want the Potterheads to yell at me, because I'm a Potterhead Twihard, is what I am. So, on to the next part of this video, my punishments, which I need to hurry up with because it's already six and a half minutes long. Okay, my first punishment was to say the guy like his full name, first and last, um, you know, to the whole world via YouTube video. Um, this guy, he already knows I like him because I've talked to him about it, we were friends, we did have a conversation about it. Because I'm not just going to sit back and be all dumb. I did tell him. And we're still friends. And it's all good between us. But I'm still hoping he does not ever have a situation where he comes across this video. Because then my life will be forever ruined. <laughs> because um, that's not something you proclaim to the world. That's something you tell the guy. And you tell your friends. But you don't go and tell the whole world. But because of Jenny, I'm telling the whole world. So uh, there we go. So I like this guy, he's my squad leader at, in band, in marching band, like on the field and all that stuff. He's the squad leader in my squad. And um, his name is Christian Kiesel and I like him a lot. But um, yeah. Second punishment was to take a pair of my brother's dirty underwear, fresh from the laundry, well the dirty laundry, and smell them, which is cruel and unusual. Thank you to Jennifer. So um, here goes nothing. That's, okay, they really didn't smell all that bad, I'm gonna fake, they just kind of smelled like underwear, but, you know, still, you know, that's cruel and unusual, no one should have to sniff their relative's underpants. Okay, so on to my third and final punishment, potato chips. I have to take a potato chip, potato chip, I hope that bag doesn't fall down. Then I had to take mayonnaise. I have Miracle Whip. Sorry, it's not real mayonnaise. But um, I hope Miracle Whip is good enough for you. Um, dip it in Miracle Whip, which is okay. I like chips and I like Miracle Whip. But um, then I have to go with ketchup. Oh, God, that's nasty. Okay, there's ketchup oozing out of that. Okay, I have ketchup all over my hand now. And then take maple syrup and uh, add some of that, which is why I have maple syrup on my foot, if you're wondering, because I spilled it earlier. And then um, eat it, basically. I did this in my last video, and it was horrid and terrible. And I'm going to hurry up and do this because this is almost the limit. So, bottoms up. Um, okay, I'm gonna claw it. <sighs> oh, God, that was horrible. Okay, bye.